Hello everyone, it is so good to see you all. However, you may be streaming this video. I'm glad that you're here with me today. Uh, listen, we may not be together in uh, the physical right now, but that does not mean that we can't continue to work together. And I'm so glad that you're here with me to do this today. So let's pick right up where we left off. Now, last week, uh, we talked about uh, the different layers of the Earth's atmosphere. What could be found in those different atmospheres? Uh, what are the temperatures in the atmosphere? How far up does it go? Uh, but today, let's talk uh, a little bit deeper about what is that atmosphere made of. So our atmosphere is made up of different layers of gases. Now let's find out what gases those are. So our question of the day, obviously, is what gases makes up our atmosphere? What makes up the Earth's atmosphere? And despite us constantly talking about needing oxygen, is that the most uh, in our atmosphere? And that answer is no. Coming in at number one is nitrogen at 78%. 78% of the uh, gas that is in our atmosphere is nitrogen. Coming in at number two is oxygen at 21%. But is that all? And that answer is no, because those two together only make up 99%. So what makes up that last one? Coming in at three, we have argon, which is less than a percent. Number four is carbon dioxide, less than a percent. And there's some other things like water vapor, neon, um, methane. It's present there, but it is so small that it's almost non-existent. And on the other side of this, I've also placed Mars because that is the place for future uh, human exploration in terms of putting people actually on the planet. So when we talk about NASA and, and SpaceX and uh, what's the one with uh, Jeff Bezos? I think it's Blue Origin. But these different companies that are uh, in a space race to get to another planet, they have to study and understand the Martian atmosphere. And right now, what we do know about the Martian atmosphere is this. It goes in almost the exact opposite way of the earth because coming in at 95.9 percent .9 is carbon dioxide that's the most uh that's the uh, gas that you find most common on mars coming in at number two is argon at two percent nitrogen at 1.9 percent and oxygen at less than a percent and then carbon monoxide at less than a percent and that carbon monoxide is that colorless odorless gas that is very poisonous to us so you never want to be uh around where that is, especially in an enclosed room. Uh, but today what we're gonna do is talk uh, or create our own gas. What if I told you that we have the ability to blow up a balloon using no technology? Uh, in fact, I did a little small example right here. Never put my lips on it, never put a pump in it to blow it up. And you can do this as well with just a few items that you can find around your house. So let's go over here. I've already preset my things up because it takes quite a bit. But what you need is vinegar, baking soda, a water bottle, and a balloon. So when you do that, make sure your water bottle is empty and you're going to pour the vinegar into the water bottle. Now when you're doing that, uh, you don't need much at all. So I've only put that much in. Uh, let me pull it up a little bit closer. So I've only put that much in. And then this is where parents are going, where any adult that's around whomever may be taking care of you, I need you to help with this. Uh, and I just took a spoon and I filled this balloon, or I put about that much uh, of baking soda into uh, this balloon with the spoon. Uh, this part gets a little messy. Matter of fact, I'm usually pretty uh, steady handed, but I was looking pretty ashy afterwards. Uh, and, and kids, when you're pouring this vinegar into uh, your water bottle, be careful because even though vinegar is a great item to use for cleaning, not everybody wants their house smelling like that. So let's be very careful with that. Uh, but we're gonna blow this balloon up without ever touching it to our lips, without ever putting a pump in to blow it up or anything of that nature. And so how do we do that? And that answer is by mixing this acidic, it's, it's a low grade acid, baking or vinegar 
with this base baking powder. So this solid and that liquid is gonna mix and it's gonna create a chemical reaction. But in the process, it's going to release carbon dioxide. And the reason that we know that is because when those bubbles become uh, present, that is what that is. So here's how we're gonna do it. Now, when you're putting this uh, balloon onto your water bottle, you don't want to uh, dump it right away uh, because it's gonna mess your experiment up. So make sure you keep the balloon off to the side, but you wanna put that top over the water bottle. So I stretched it out just enough to get it across. There we go. And then I'm gonna put it back here and I'm gonna watch the magic happen. Now, I don't recommend you trying to uh, capture the air like I did because that can, that can lead to disaster. So I'm not gonna do that here. I just want you to see that it is possible for that air to expand that balloon. So here we go, let's see what we got. Uh-oh. And there you have it, boys and girls. It is still going. I put quite a bit in this time to make it a little bit bigger. But as you can see, I blew this balloon up without ever having to put my lips on. Now that the air is going down a little bit, let's see if I can get this off. It, ooh, it's really expanded. This is why I don't recommend doing this at home. Let's just go ahead and leave that on because if I spill that vinegar on me, we're gonna have an issue. Um, but yes, as you can see, we have done that. So I want you to try that at home. Hey, listen, parents, if you get a chance, uh, maybe I'll put a, post a thread on the uh, Endeavor PTA page and then who knows, you can show us your pictures of what you got or you can do a quick video. I would love to see everyone uh, get a chance to do this. Listen, I love you guys. Y'all take care of yourselves. I'll be in my Google Meets throughout the week uh, and I, I can't wait to hear from you and just all the exciting things that you've done. Love you guys. Bye-bye.